to my channel for those of you that are new here my name's arena if you're already a subscriber then thank you for coming back and welcome in everybody come on in come on in uh, thanks for clicking on my video if you enjoy my content as well please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos from myself i probably only have a few videos left in this apartment which has been my home for a decade it's mad to say that um, but yeah I am soon moving so my videos are gonna look a little bit different in the next month or so um, so I'm quite I'm a little emotional thinking about it um, but yeah I thought I'll get a, a couple of videos in here whilst I can and if you enjoy my content like I said don't forget to subscribe Today's video is going to be um, a little light, um, lighter than some of my videos, uh, but I wanted to do an update on the makeup that I'm currently using and what some favorites of mine are. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and I'm open to suggestions if you have any products that you've discovered and perhaps you want to share with uh, my followers or myself. I'm always welcome to suggestions. Um, I always welcome suggestions. That's what I meant to say. Um, but I hope you enjoy this video and uh, I will link the products in the description of the video as well. I'm not affiliated in any way. I will not be making any money off these. So um, just enjoy the links if you do want to buy any of these products and you like them. So I'm not going to do like an actual get ready with me, but I'm just going to run through the products. So if I don't look terrible, then uh, these are the products that I'm using. So I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to say is I am big on moisturizing. So at night moisturizing and uh, skincare. And then obviously in the morning, I also moisturize. So I'm like moisture, moisture, moisture. Now my skin has been uh, going through a little bit of a, of a funny time. Um, I will put it down to diet. I think um, my lifestyle has been a little bit crazy. So I have indulged slightly and that is straight away the thing that I've noticed. My skin always likes to remind me that I need to like tone it down and just be gentle on myself. So I'm currently in the phase of adjusting all my diet and going back into my good sort of habits if you like. Um, but I wanted to share with you just my main products for my everyday. This is what I do every day and this is what I look like. Um, <laughs> so yeah i hope you enjoy now the first thing i always start my day with is moisturizer like i said and i use a couple of moisturizer i actually use the kiehl's i don't even know how you say this but kiehl's kiehl's um ultra facial cream this is such this is a um a lightweight hydrating formula and it's this is amazing like this makes my skin feel so juicy after application I've tried lots of different moisturizers and some of them, do, they do get soaked up really quickly and this one just doesn't. I feel when I apply this, I get true, um, true um, moisture into my skin and it will keep my skin feeling kind of plump and juicy even throughout the day after my makeup application and wearing makeup for a long day, for what well, are really long days for me. So yeah, I always start with the Ultra Facial Cream, the KL one. Don't have to put on a lot, although I do like to give my skin plenty of moisture. And then the second thing I will use, this is instead of a primer for me, and this is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base uh, by Bobbi Brown. That's the one. I started to use this probably like two years ago and I cannot do without it. I used to use primers, but I never felt my makeup stayed on that well with primers, which is really weird. Um, but this for me is all I need underneath my makeup and it will stay on like mm, all day and it will stay on pretty well. So it primes really well and it still gives me those sort of vitamins in my skin and also, it's a lovely product. It smells delicious. That's also part of why I love this. Uh, but yeah, that is my second step in my makeup routine. So moisturizer, then this goes on top. And then I will go for a foundation. 
Now for me, foundation application is usually with a sponge. I used to be, I used to use the original um, makeup sponge. I can't think what they're called now. But I've actually moved over to the Real Techniques um, sponges, which do the job really well. And you'll have to excuse the state of my sponge, but this is what they look like. I've literally just used it in these quickly. Um, yeah, so this is the sponge that I'll use, and it's a Real Technique sponge. It usually just looks like this color, but obviously I've got a makeup on it right now. Um, so yeah, I will use the sponge. And then the foundation that I'm loving at the moment is the um, Your Skin But Better CC Cream It Cosmetics. One of my friends introduced me to this and honestly it's the nicest skin. It feels so light, nicest foundation. It's like a tint, um, like a cream. It's just beautiful. It doesn't feel very heavy. It doesn't feel like as cakey as normal foundation. So it's kind of like my skin but better and that's literally what it's called, what it says on this. But it genuinely feels that way. It's just like my skin but just better and kind of evened out and I love it and it just feels good on my skin as well it feels like it is doing good things to my skin rather than just like drying it down or cloying it and it is it's not a drying um foundation of any in any way it is quite juicy again it makes my skin glowy and beautiful throughout the day and I don't get any sort of dry patches or anything like this with this I'm a combination skin I obviously have the usual oily parts I get oily here uh, here my chin gets a little bit oily um, but then I can I used to get like dry patches in my cheeks um, and sometimes my forehead would go a little bit dry so I've kind of got a bit of a mix going on um, but with this, I never have dry patches and it, my skin always looks really good and healthy underneath. And I've had comments off this saying, what is the foundation that you use? And it's been this. And I actually noticed my friend's skin one time and I said, what are you using? Because it looks incredible. It looks like so real, like your skin real, but obviously you've got makeup on and it's so hard to tell, but I know that um, you've got something on and it just looks amazing so basically I saw it on a friend she saw it on me and then people have complimented it so it is a really really good um, buy so usually this is the one I use the it cosmetics um, CC cream but sometimes I will also mix it now in summer when it's really hot this can be a little bit too hydrating so then i do get oily skin so i might need to mix it a little bit with a foundation that's less that's a little bit more matte and in that case i will use the fenty as well and i will literally combine these two my shades in these are the it cosmetics it's uh, neutral although i can't i'm not sure where it says the color in here but it, i'm neutral um in all my foundations so that one's the neutral one and then this one is pro filter so this is the uh, fenty pro filter foundation and it's 260 i don't know if you can see that but it's 260 shade uh, so these are really nice for me when i tan a little bit more i might go a bit of the 280 with this uh, but generally i'm pretty pretty steady 260 and then that's just the neutral one so they're my foundations of choice now once i've applied my foundation i will move on to brows i tend to start from the top and work my way down um so my brows um i will first just pop on some uh setting powder before i put any brow product because i do get quite oily here um at the front there i have to do this otherwise my brow um uh, Whatever I put on my brows is going to be gone within like an hour. So, the first thing I'll tend to use is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I love this. I've had it. I've actually had this for way over a year, if maybe two. I've just had so much use out of this and there's still loads of powder left in. Um, the, whatever I paid for this, it's really, really paid for itself and I've just had it for such a long time so this is the translucent loose setting powder um 29 grams and yeah this is one i've been using i'm a little bit concerned when i repurchase because i don't know if this one's been discontinued and there's some different ones out there but um yeah hopefully i can find this when i come to using it but that's the first thing i do and i just get it use a brush and just lightly kind of 
brush it across my eyebrows first and then I will just brush it out so there's no like actual powder left there if you like but then I just like to dab the powder and set especially here because that's where I get um, quite oily so that will go on first I'm not going to tell you what brushes I'm using because all of the names are rubbed off on them um, and I really don't know the names um, although this one is what I use, it's the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. That's the one that I use just to get the uh, setting powder on my brows and just like brush it on. So that's what I'll do first. And then the second thing I'll do is um, use the Dip Brow pom Pomade. I don't know how you say that, but it's dark brown and it's the... Um, Who's this by? You'll know, you'll know. Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it's this one, it's the dark brown, and I've had this for quite a while as well, and there's tons of product left in. Like you get so much use out of this. And then I'll use just a um, angle brush to do that with, a really, really fine one. And then I can like draw on the little hair strokes anywhere I need them. And the other end's got the brush. So this is also the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, number 12 brush and that's what I use to just do my brows. It takes me ages, I'm really not very good at brows, <laughs> but I keep trying and I'll work on it and I'll keep trying until I succeed. Probably could do with having something a bit more permanent put on, but for the time being, this is the products that we're using. Now I'll use this to do the main shape and do the main sort of filling in of the brows, but I will also use the what is this? The Brow Blade by Urban Decay. Um, this is actually really nice as well. So you've got a pencil here, which is a little bit too dark for me. The shade of this is Dark Drapes. So the pencil I don't love, but the other end has got a really sharp tip here and you can really draw the, um, the hair strokes really, really nice with this. And it stays on really well as well. So this is Dark Drapes Urban Decay Brow Decay brow, brow Blade, I can't say it. Sometimes I might just use this, um, but to create the shape, I obviously will use the pomade, um, give my brows a bit of a, so they know where they're going. Um, but this is, a, I use this quite a bit to create the actual um, strokes of the hairs really really nice this I have been using it for ages and then once I've done those I will just brush them out because everything feels a little bit harsh at this point so I'll use the little brush end and just brush my brows out um, once I'm relatively happy I mean today's brows are probably not my best ones but once I'm relatively happy with what I've done there and again I'm not like the best at brows um, I will use the um, 24 hour brow setter uh, gel from Benefit and this I've been using for ages it's amazing it really holds them um, there's no residue um, it's just perfect it's easy to apply and yeah I always use this so that is the last step in my brow game I do not do the whole highlighting or oh, that's it that's me done with the brows so it's kind of basic let's say and then the next thing I will then do is I will start on the eyes and then I use I've used this forever and I will keep using this forever I use the pillow talk Charlotte Tilbury uh, pillow talk luxury palette it's got the main sort of rosy excuse the state of this I've literally dropped it so it looks, <laughs> it looks interesting right now um, but yeah this is the quad that I always use amazing it just always feels quite nice and natural I've had so many compliments and the best bit is the little glittery bit at the end and I always put that on and it makes my eyes just like sparkle a little bit so um yeah lots of compliments this is my favorite palette and it's forever going to be a favorite it's like my everyday and then so I will use this and it also even gives you like the steps and how to apply it which is really good so if you're not sure then this is a nice um starting palette as well 
Um, and then the next thing will be once I've done my eyes, in fact, I've missed one step before doing eyeshadow, I will do my little wing liner. So this I do all the time, every day I'll do the little wing bit before I move on to eyeshadow. That's my preference. Some people do like eyeshadow first and they can do the liner. For me, sometimes I get the liner wrong, I can still wipe it, but if I've done all my eyeshadow, then it's a bit too much messing around. So I do liner first and then an eyeshadow, eyeshadow goes after. The liner that I, that I like is the Roller Liner by Benefit. And it's this one. It's my absolute favorite. I've used it for ages and it's really good. It stays on really well. I don't really have to ever reapply it. And if I ever fall asleep with makeup on, it's still there in the morning. It's like solid. So um, yeah, I always do a little bit of a wing and that's my chosen tool for that. And then, uh, yeah, eyeshadow. Once I've done my eyeshadow, I will move on to the contour. Now again, I'm not a pro, so please don't expect miracles. But the contour that I do, just a little bit for me, I will just put a little bit there, a little bit on my forehead, and I will contour my lips a little bit as well. And then sometimes I just put a little bit here, something I saw JLo do, and she said, just put a little bit there to hide your like triple, quadruple chin, whatever's going on. So now I do that. Um, but this is what I use for my contouring and I've used this for a really long time because it's so easy and it blends out nicely and you can work, build it up but it's just really nice. It's the NYX Wonder Stick. I had a panic, I thought this had been discontinued but it had not. Um, and the shade I've got here is the medium and I, I'd say medium is so good for so many like skin tones um, and they have like a few others but this is the one I use. One end's got your um, contour, and you can see I go through this quite a lot. I do use it every day. And then the other end's got your highlighter. I don't really tend to use the highlighter on here. Um, I probably should, I don't know why I don't. But yeah, that's my contour stick, really easy to use. Um, and I just literally draw it on, so it's easy, ease of use. Um, once I've done my contour, the next step will be concealer. So the concealer I use, probably, everybody knows about this, um, NARS Custard. I love this concealer, it's one of the nicest ones and it stays on for ages. It never, like, I've used so many concealers and they do start to settle in the lines. This one is the least one to do that. And so for me, I'm really happy with this, but I also feel moisture is really important. So making sure you really moisturize your skin before applying any sort of makeup and it will always keep it, um, your your skin is just gonna be more hydrated so things won't settle and dry out on your skin. But yeah, my concealer of choice is the NARS and it's shade Custard Medium 1. So that's next. And my concealer usually just goes underneath my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit here, a little bit on my chin, and that's, oh, and a tiny bit just in the corner of my eye. I don't know if you can really see, but um, it just covers enough and, feels good and then once I've done my concealer I'll go on to my blush I use a combination of blushes um, and I use a, a highlighter as well so they're all Charlotte Tilbury most of my makeup itch is Charlotte Til Tilbury I'm gonna say it I'm gonna say it and so my shades that I use the first one is the pillow talk blush um, it's just Pillow Talk, the matte blush, and it looks like this. Um, this one, I don't think you can get it individually at the moment, so I've ended up getting like a sample one just to get me through. So it's the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the one that I use. And this one goes on first for like most of my blush application. That is the base. Then I'll do like one little dab of this red one. So the shade, is, this is the Pillow Talk Dream Pop. So this is the very red one and I just do one small dot just to make it a little bit like more blushy. And then the last one I'll use is the uh, Pink Gasm Highlighter. So this is again like a pink. I love, love, love this. In fact, can I show you? Yeah, it looks like it's such a shimmery, Pink. it's beautiful I'll just 
show you the others. This is the red. So this is like a, this is this one. It's like a deeper red. And then the matte one. So I've run out of. So I will start with this one, which is a little bit of a like faded blush, if you like. Then I'll do a dot of this red. And then I'll do a little bit of highlighting with that very last one because it's just so beautiful. And that just adds like a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of like pop to the blusher. Otherwise you wouldn't quite have that pop. And then I do have this sample um, pillow talk highlighter that I've not really used. In fact, let me just dab a little bit on here so you guys can see. It is very pretty, but it's more of a golden, like pale, it is really nice, but I, I think I'm just like more of a pink in everything. But you can see the shade of that there. And yeah, that's all my blushing highlighters. So that's what I do next. And then the last thing I'll do is actually apply a little bit of um, the Carmex moisturizing lip balm, but it's the one with the bit of, with the, a bit of a that plumping effect. So I'll put this on and just let it work for a little bit so then my lips are a bit plumped for when I apply liner and lipstick. Um, while I let that work, I will usually do mascara and I use the Rare Beauty Black Mascara. I love this, it's really, really nice. The wand is, I love a thick wand with plenty of like bristles on it. So I love this sort of thing. It's just perfect for my lashes. And this one's lasted me quite a long time as well. So yeah, Rare Beauty Black is what I use for my lashes. And then um, I'll also use the Laura Mercier setting powder again with the same brush to just finish up um, underneath just here to prevent sort of my skin getting oily. I'll put a little bit here and a little bit there, just lightly. I don't put bake and do all of that. I just put a little bit lightly. And then the last thing I'll do is my eyeliner and my lips, it's not eyeliner, my lip liner. In fact, rewind one second. I do use a little bit of um, eyeshadow to just line my bottom lashes ever so slightly. And I use the one in the Pillow Talk palette here. I just use the brown, this darker brown here to just do a little bit underneath my eyes. I don't love a harsh liner. So this is a nice daytime uh, option for me because I do like a little bit of something. Um, so that will do it nicely. And I'll just use, I think this is a Bare Minerals brush that I've had for a really long time, but it's just got like, can you see a bit of an angle, but it's quite thin as well. You can see that. So that's what I use just for that bit. And then I'll come back to my lips as the last thing I do and I'll do lip liner. The current lip liners I use are the Refi ones. I've got one called Fawn, which is a slightly darker brown. So that's what I've got on underneath this lipstick. And then the lipstick I use is the, let me go get it. Hello, I'm back. Um, the lipstick I use is the Velvet Teddy by MAC, the matte lipstick. This is, again, I noticed this, uh, one of my friends was using this and she just applied it and it, it, it'd been like, we'd been on a night out and she just put it on and it just glided so beautifully. Um, and I was like, this looks like the most amazing lipstick. Also, the shade is really beautiful. Obviously, you can see on me, um, but it's just such a beautiful like nudie brown pinky shade it's gorgeous it's my favorite lip product now and i think this is a forever buy i also sometimes use very victoria by charlotte tilbury just i think it's a bit of a darker brown than this one but it's very similar um like a pinky slightly dark brown and i love the nude sort of lipsticks if you like the liners that I was talking about, um, so the Refi liners, this one's called Fawn. So this one's the slightly browner one, just so you guys can see. I love the Refi lip liners. And then the other one that I sometimes use, well, a lot of the time, is the Taupe 
they're very very similar um, but just so you can see this is the taupe and then this is the fawn of the top fawn my eye looks so funny like that fawn at the top it's a slightly darker brown i'm gonna say and then taupe is a lighter brown they're both quite pinky i think basically they go really well with my skin tone which is neutral so these are the two that i normally use and the one thing i didn't mention which i feel helps um keep my lip product on for longer and it also like glides on a little bit better i'll apply the charlotte tilbury lip oil before applying any lip products um, i'll apply it and just kind of rub it in a little bit and then um, i'll leave it maybe for a couple of minutes and then i will apply the actual liner and the lipstick and everything just applies a little bit smoother and it will last longer throughout the day as well and then last but not least list I swear, when I get on camera, I forget to speak English. So last but not least, I will use a setting spray and I use the All Nighter set Setting Spray. Is it Benefit? I can't think what it is and it's not right, it's not here right now. So, um, but it is the All Nighter Setting Spray, the black and purple bottle. That's my chosen spray. I've also used a Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. That's really amazing as well. Um, probably prefer the charlotte tilbury a little bit more i just ended up buying the all-nighter one on offer and i got like a few different a few extra bottles so i'm just cu currently using that they're very very close uh, but the charlotte tilbury felt a little bit um the mist was a little bit finer and i quite liked that but in terms of like holding it on holding the makeup down they're both really really good so Either one of those, would, it, it works really well. And yeah, that is my makeup routine. I am that person that probably like 98% of time will put on the makeup in the morning. Um, it just makes me feel good. I like feeling good, I like looking good. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, please leave a comment, don't forget, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos from me. And I'll see you in my next one.